Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix fatal error or low level fatal error with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is try DX11 or DX12 in launch options. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11 and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. In that case, you can type in dash Vulkan. This has also worked for many players, so it might work for you. So make a right click once again, go to properties over here, type in dash Vulkan and now you can launch the game and then check still not working. And in that case, you can even try dash DX12 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working. Then you can remove this and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to try NVIDIA app to launch the game. Now for this, if you have NVIDIA app installed, if not installed, you can install it from Google. You can search in Google. Now open NVIDIA app. Now once you open NVIDIA app, go to graphics over here. Once you go to graphics, find the game in this list. Once you find the game, select Hot Wheels Unleashed and then over here, click on optimize. And once it is optimized, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. In that case, you can even try window mode you can select window mode if you want you can try this and you can select the right resolution so if this is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can select your resolution as per your monitor and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to set windows power plan to power saver now for this type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel go to go to hardware and sound and then go to power options now over here you will see power saver so over here uh, you can select power saver so you will see power saver if you have power saver put a check on power saver and then you can launch the game and then check you can even try balanced or high performance and check which one is working fine for you now the next step is to Perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view and then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. By default express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game also amd users uh, first of all you can uninstall the current graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then go to amd website select your graphic card and then install the latest driver restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this you can type in graphics settings in window search box and then click on graphics settings now click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder open the steam apps folder open the common folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on add once the game is added once the game is added click on the dis click on this down arrow and then over here select high performance now again click on add desktop app and then open hot wheels folder binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on add now once the game is added you can scroll down and find the game in the list now once you find the game click on the down arrow once again and then again over here select high performance and then you can launch the game and then check 
also try running the game from the game installation folder now for this you can make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files and then this will take you to the game installation folder make a double click over here try launching the game from here if that does not work open this hot wheels binaries win 64 make a double click try launching the game from here if that does not work make a right click and then select properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok now you can launch the game and then check still not working go to properties once again and this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working you can even select windows 7 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and then launch the game and then check still not working you can do the same thing with the first exe file just make a right click and just follow the same steps if that does not work so when you put a check on all these boxes so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and do the same thing with the first exe file and then follow the next step now the next step is to roll back graphics driver so again you can go to nvidia website or amd website and then roll back graphic driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working you can go to nvidia website or amd website select your graphic card from the list select the right operating system click on find and then now scroll down and we here you can see view more version and the latest one right now is 566.36 so you can uh, you can try 566.14 or maybe 566.03 so you can just click on view download it and then run the exe file but make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean clean installation and then restart your computer and then launch the game and then you can check next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 in windows 10 click on update and security then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow then click on add and allowed app click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder now once you open the game folder select the game exe file click on open again click on add and allowed app browse all apps open this hot wheels binaries win64 select this exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall and then click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select the exe file click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then open hot wheels binaries win64 select this exe file click on open click on add once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to if you are able to launch the game set game exe priority to real time or high in task manager so if you are not able to launch the game you can skip this step but if you if the game is launching then you can click on play and then once you hit play uh, then you can just make a right click on the start menu and then go to task manager and then here you can see the game exe file game make a right click on the game and then go to the details click on go to details and then over here you will see the game exe file make a right click on the game and then click on set priority and then you can set it to real time and then click on change priority and then check you can even make a right click once again if that does not work you can even select high and then you can check so check which one is working fine for you do the same thing with the second exe file set priority 
you can try real, real time and then check if that does not work you can try high and then check now the still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version now for this make sure that your uh, your windows is up to date so go to, go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 install this x86 and x64 version so download x86 and then you can run this exe file click on it and then click on repair if you see repair if you see install button click on install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well so run this exe file and again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button click on install and let the installation complete make sure both the installation are complete once installed then restart your computer restart is a must after this after the system restart launch the game next step is to update system bios so go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell if you have lenovo go to lenovo if you have hp computer go to hp so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then go to drivers and download page in, and then find the bios update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter charger is connected to the computer during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so first of all uninstall the game now once you uninstall the game after uninstall go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder 
and then restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.